Nucleic acids are the building blocks of life. Wait, but isn't DNA the building block of life? Yes, both are correct. DNA is a type of nucleic acid. And in this video, we are going to have a quick look at another type, RNA. We have both DNA and RNA in our bodies, and we need them both. DNA is the blueprint. It contains all of the instructions for the cell to grow, function, and replicate. The RNA carries out these instructions. It copies and transfers the genetic code from the DNA to ensure the relevant proteins are made. So, just think of it this way. DNA makes RNA and RNA makes proteins. Now let's look at how they differ. DNA stands for deoxyribonucleic acid, whereas RNA stands for ribonucleic acid. DNA is double-stranded, while RNA is single-stranded. Like DNA, RNA is made up of a long chain of nucleotides. Each nucleotide consists of a ribose sugar, phosphate group, and nucleotide base. DNA has a sugar called deoxyribose, whereas RNA has a sugar called ribose. Look here. DNA has the base thymine, T, while RNA has a base uracil, or U. So in RNA, C and G still pair, but now A and U pair. RNA plays a big role in protein synthesis. There are two special types of RNA. Messenger RNA, which is also known as mRNA, and transfer RNA, which is also known as tRNA. mRNA is synthesized inside the nucleus, copied from the DNA code, and tRNA is found in the cytoplasm. For many years, we thought RNA acted as mRNA, the DNA photocopier, tRNA as the protein folder, and rRNA found in ribosomes. However, RNA can also act as enzymes to speed up chemical reactions, and in many viruses, they have RNA instead of DNA. RNA carries the genetic codes in those viruses. So there we have RNA. From this video, you should now know about the existence of RNA. It is a single-stranded nucleic acid that has a base U instead of base T.